Hey teachers, I know many of you are getting ready to implement iReady with your students, um, but I want to offer you an additional resource, especially for people who might not be interacting with iReady as much like our specials teachers and spectrum teachers, um, and really anyone who's interested. In Flipgrid, there is a section called Disco Library. So if you go up here to the top and click on Disco Library, what Disco Library is, it's an area where other educators can post topics that they've created for their classes and you can copy them directly into your grid. Saves you a little bit of time and also gives you some ideas of what kinds of questions you might ask your students. But one of the things I love about Disco Library the most is that Flipgrid has worked with a lot of different companies um, to have them create topics that go along with their tools. So you can see down here, there's all kinds of different ones. Some of my favorites are Wonderopolis and MSN Kids. If your class uses Epic, there's pre-made topics where kids can read a book in Epic and then answer a question around that. Um, there's also coding activities. The Met lets students um, get to see different artwork. And each topic will tell you what ages it's targeted toward. Um, so I want to go into one just to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to go into Wonderopolis. Once you go in, um, you'll see there are 43 topics from Wonderopolis, and you can see what each one is. So I'm just going to go down and click on one. What inspires you? Once you open it up, um, you select what grid you want it to go on to. So it will automatically pull up all the grids that you have. So I'm going to put it on my distance learning page. And then click add. So what you can see is that it automatically has a recording time set, but you can adjust that if you want. Um, it already has the prompt and tells students what to do. So they're focusing on what inspires them. They're reading the article below and it's linked so they can go to it. Um, and then it has the question that they are going to answer in Flipgrid. It already has an image. You, of course, can change this if you want to put something different. Um, but right here is the link that's going to take you to the Wonderopolis topic of the day. I'm going to open that in a new tab just so that you can see what that looks like. Because their first um, first task will be to go to Wonderopolis and they can listen to the page with immersive reader. That means it reads the entire page to them, or they can read the page on their own. Um, again, there's text, there's videos to watch, there's pictures to look at. Um, there's word challenges that have words that are in the article. So there's a lot of stuff that they can do on this one page um, as an enrichment activity connected to um, ELA and many science and social studies topics as well. Um, but back in Flipgrid, you can see you have all your normal things, which is you could turn on moderation if you want to. You can turn off student replies. You can set it to freeze at a certain time if you don't want students to be able to add anything. So you can turn lots of things on or off. And then you just click update topic. And once uh, you do that, it is you now have taken that grid from or that topic from the Disco library. You have put it into your own grid and now it's ready to share with students. Um, right here again is where you would add topic guests so that students would not need a login in order to um, go onto your grid. If you copy this link and share it with families, they will be able to go straight onto that topic and add themselves. I'll show you what that looks like really quickly. So this is what they would see in the end. Here's all of their instruction. Here's the link that they would click on to go to Wonderopolis. And then they just click on that plus sign, and type in their name and follow each set of instructions um, in order to add their topic. So hopefully this will be something that you can use um, whether you're a classroom teacher, if you're looking for something else to add to uh, morning messages or enrichment activities for a class beyond iReady, and if you're a um, Spectrum or EIP or um, special education or specials teacher, these are things that you could do as well. And if you have any extra questions about how to make this work, 
just let me know.